One of the apps that we've just recently launched is called Strategize My Life, and it's part of our best suite. Um, Strategize My Life was really designed because so many people after brain injury have such a hard time remembering strategies that work, even coming up with strategies. But once they have strategies, they don't always remember which strategies have worked for them and which ones haven't worked. And so you can imagine what might happen is if an individual has tried a strategy, let's say one that they used before their brain injury, and it worked perfectly for them before their brain injury, post-injury, that strategy may or may not be as effective. And so what we did with Strategize My Life was we incorporated the ability to sort of group strategies. Um, so for example, we have, it's completely customizable. So an example might be for social issues. If someone post-injury uh, has a difficult time connecting with people or often people tend to isolate after a brain injury. And so some social strategies that they might be able to use, they would put a social strategy um, grouping in Strategize My Life, and then they'd identify certain strategies. So one strategy for socialization might be to have a list of maybe three icebreaker questions that you can ask when you go to a party. You know, what's the most recent movie that you've seen or something to that effect? Because in, by doing that, when they go into the party, they can just open up their app, look like they're checking their email, open up the app and be reminded of some of the strategies that might help them in a social situation. You might also do the same kind of thing for studying. So for note taking, what are some of the strategies that you found to be most effective? One strategy that a lot of people use for note taking is highlighting. And so you might put that in the Strategize My Life app, but from a practical perspective, highlighting is not a very effective strategy, especially for individuals with brain injuries. And so we would rate that, or the individual would rate that maybe lower than they would something like taking handwritten notes while they're reading. So a really good strategy would be to read a section at a time or a paragraph at a time, and then to sort of translate that into their own words by taking notes compared to just highlighting, which is a very passive activity. And when they have memory issues to begin with, highlighting really doesn't do anything for their studying. This video was produced by Brainline, thanks to generous support from the Infinite Hero Foundation.